Hello and welcome to part two of the level editor. So today we're going to focus on camera movement only. Uh, there's a few little bugs I left in from the previous one. We're going to sort them out as well, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So I'll just add some stuff as such. Don't worry if it doesn't look exactly the same as this. This is a different project, but we'll go back into the one we just made right now. So right away, this is great, but we can add a zoom. So we can zoom in. Sorry, zoom out. Zoom in. And also, if you hold down your middle mouse button, you can pan. So this is great for a level editor, but you can also use it in a real-time strategy. You could There's lots of things you could do with this. So it's quite handy just knowing this outside the level editor. So we're going to get into it. We're going to close this down. Oops. I'm going to close that down because I don't need it. And I'm going to open... Oops. I better close that down too. Sorry about that. So here we are in our project that we've, we've been working on. Now the first thing I want you to change, and it's quite important, is this item select. I want you to right click it. I want you to go to the change type, and it's got to be canvas layer. So the reason for that is that I didn't realize that if you, this isn't the canvas layer, if it's just like a normal control, it'll actually be on the surface. And we want it on the, uh, H, the HUD you know, the UI, so we don't want it to be attached to our level, else it will, every time we move, scroll around, the controls will move away from us, which we we really don't want. So we're going to save that, and what we're going to do as well is we're going to go to the project, project settings, and to move the camera around, we want WASD, so WASD, and we also want MB middle, because you want to press your middle mouse button. So let's put them in now. You have to bear with me. S Q D and then lastly mouse middle button. Middle button, there we go. Let's close that down. Also, um when you run it now you'll notice that it's moved this to the uh left hand screen. So we want to resolve that by pressing your tab container. Oops. Pressing your tab container and you want to press this button here, make sure the objects are not selectable, which I just did then by accident, and then move it. So let's move about here. Let's save that. And as you can see it just placed it back where back there. Great. <clears throat> Right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to change some signals because you'll notice when I select an icon, oh, it's not doing it now. You can see it's actually being placed. It actually, we, we don't want that, so we're going to resolve that now. So we are going to go to the signals. We're going to go over here, double click. And then I'm going to go to the tab container. And then we want to go object cursor dot hide. And then I want to go to, oh, it's got object cursor on there. There we go. Dot show. There we go. Save that. And now, also, what we want to do, which is we want to do signals going to each uh, scroll container, but instead of having to do the signals in, for every single one, what we're going to do is to attach a script. So right click on your first scroll container, attach a script, and then just, yeah, scroll container is fine. And there's a little bit of typing to go, so what we're going to do is move this out of the way because we want that. We want on ready var object cursor equals get node. Root name editor. Let me make sure that's correct. Editor object. Save that. And we're going to go to our ready and we're going to go connect mouse entered. So you can do this inside the editor, but I prefer to do it in code. The great thing about doing it in code is now I can just drag it on 
the uh, script, and I, don't, and I know that signals are going to be set up inside the script, so I don't have to keep doing them every single time. It, it's a preference thing, I guess. Mouse, enter, and the same again. Connect, mouse, exit, self, mouse, leave. There we go. And then we're going to put them down here. So, funk, mouse, enter. Stop now. Funk mouse leave. And I'm going to say object cursor dot can place equals false. Object cursor dot hide. Like so. And then for this one, it's the opposite. So object cursor dot can place equals true and object cursor dot show. You'll notice I keep putting these um, at the end. It's from C sharps. It's one of my habits. So we save that. Let's make sure that works. So now when I place it, I shouldn't notice it's not placed it anymore. Whereas previously you'd see it it would do this kind of thing, but we stop doing it now, which is great. It's the, what we want. So that's just like um, something I left in accidentally from before. So now we're going to focus on the meat of the project, which is actually the mouse controlling the camera. So let's get into that now. So we're going to set the camera up. So we're going to go to here. We want to go to the object cursor. And I actually want to make um, a no 2D. And we're going to call this cam container attached to that a camera 2d just keep it as as that and i'm going to make sure that everything's right that's correct right save that and then go to the editor object and then We've got a little bit of work to do here. Okay, so I want to go up to here and I want to say var is panning. So this is going to uh, say is the middle mouse button held down? If it is, then we're panning. Else, if it isn't, then we're not. Then we're going to go to on var on ready var editor equals get mode root main cam container. On ready var editor can equals editor dot get. So we're getting the editor here because so we don't have to like find the root of it again. Get node and that can be just camera to do. Save that. We've got the current item. Let's just remove this text because it's qu quite a lot and it gets in the way. And I want to say here. Editor cam dot current equals true. So we're saying this camera is is actually current. What I'm gonna do is, well, no, actually that'll be fine. Um, so I'm gonna make something down here. Go back, and then under here I want to say move editor. So we're gonna make a function. Fun Move editor pass, and before we do the move editor pass from there, I want to say is panning equals in input dot is action is action pressed and in the middle. So you might think, oh, that's a weird way of doing it. So this is a boolean. It's a tr it's a yes or a no. It's a true or a false. And this statement is also a boolean, it's a yes or a no, a true or a false. So I'm just saying, hey, is the middle mouse button down? Yes, it is, then it's true. If it isn't, it's false. Rather than having to go if, input, etc. This is just a quick way of doing it. So let's go into here. And this is quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is a bit lazy. I'm just going to copy and paste it in. Because um, this video will be really long else. But I will explain the code. So I'm saying 
this is basically something that you should be well well versed with already but it's just going hey input is action pressed w if it is then we know that we're going up so we minus 10 because it's reversed in program in programming a is x s is y and d is x and base so you could so we're moving 10 pixels per i don't know how how much it is but you could change this to something like cam speed put it up here and go var um equals i don't see we'll just leave it as 10 for now Let's save that so we could actually change it from the editor on the fly. So with this as this working, now using the USD we should be able to move around. Now if I press it here, there's nothing on on the ground to show you that the movement. So if I play something, and there we go. Now this might be a bit too fast, but so what I'm going to do now is do the, I think either the zoom, let's see what will be easiest, what makes most sense. Okay, so I'm going to do the um, the zoom first, I think that would make more sense. So what we're going to do is come back down to here, we're going to go funk, and we've got a underscore, and that will bring up all the things that you can override. So all this stuff is sort of like inbuilt functionality uh, already, so we're going to override the unhandled input event and then we're going to say hey if the input is input event mouse button then we want to say if event dot is pressed oops then we want to say if event Dot button index. So we're getting the mouse button. Is one of those buttons pressed? What's the button index? And that basically means left, right, middle, etc. Equals oops, button. Hmm. Where is it? Button wheel. Oh, it's there. We'll do up first. Um, oh, there we go. Let's do that. And now here we want to say editor cam dot zoom minus equals vector zero point one zero point one. So this is saying hey check for any input then the event is going to then we're going to check is the input event uh, a button yes it is then is a button currently being pressed yes of course it is then what is it we're saying hey it's up great so while the mouse is wheeling upwards we want to zoom the camera out so we just say editor i think that's zoom in or out i can't remember which one it is and then we basically, it's like um, you're scaling something really, aren't you? But we're scaling on the X and Y to keep it consistent with the zoom, else it would get really weird. It would, ex if we only did X, then Y, it would kind of stretch the image. So I'm going to copy and paste this because it's the same. Go back one like this, and then in. And then here we're just going to say down, and then we're going to say plus. I'm going to save that, and hopefully it works first try. Yep, yeah, there you go. So we zoom. So it's up is to zoom in, down is to zoom out. You'll see that we uh, invert. You can clamp this, so you could say, "Hey, what is our current zoom? Make sure it can never go bigger than this number or smaller than that number." I'm not going to do it in this tutorial just yet because I want to get on with the rest of it, but um, I will add it on a little bit later. So the last thing we want to do now is we want to handle the mouse panning. This is I think the most uh, useful feature because it's, you could use this in so many games. So here we want to go after this. I don't know why it keeps zooming up like this. Um, if event is input event mouse motion. So we're checking for the motion mouse meaning if it's moving then this will be triggered. 
<laughs> well, I don't know why it keeps doing this. Um, if is panning, so we only want to do this if we are currently holding down the middle mouse button. Um, then we want to say editor dot global position position minus equals event dot relative times is it motion times editor cam dot zoom. So make sure it's got a pass. And pass. Save that. Hopefully this works first try. There we go, perfect. And I mean this feels great. I mean it's intuitive. You know, so many games have used it, it just comes naturally for the user. So yeah, I hope this was a bit easier to follow than yesterday's. Yesterday's was a bit messy, uh, but um, I'll try and do better. So in part three, I think I'm going to focus on like how would you put this into a game? Because at the moment, like, there's no player moving around. There's no these don't move. And for example, say if you're in the editor and you put something down and it starts moving instantly, you're like, whoa, I don't want that. I want it. I want to press E to pr uh, play the game, and then everything should move. So I'm going to focus on the gamification of this. Um, thanks for stopping by, and look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.